a shirt. I came from work. Yeah. I actually have to work for my living, you know? So, no, you guys do too, obviously, but there's a bunch of people that know. So, uh, my name is Mark Harmsworth, and for those of you who don't know me, uh, I've lived in the area about 20 years. I served as a city council member from 2007 through uh, 2014, when I was elected to the state legislature for four years. And I served alongside Mr. Lovett in many of those cases. Um, empty suit. Yeah. Empty suit. Empty <laughs> suit. There's nothing there. So uh, it, it's good to come out tonight and chat to you guys. We had a big kickoff yesterday. It was fun to see a lot of the same faces in here today. And thanks for coming out. Uh, so we're going to be, uh, so a little more bio, I own a small business in Mill Creek, I have seven employees, I sign the front of that check, I know exactly what the government does to my business every single day, which uh, it's, it's insane, and apparently we have a McDonald's, so we, we know where we're going later, John. When we, you know? <laughs> um, I also work for the Washington Policy Center, uh, that's washingtonpolicy.org, I encourage you to go check that out and uh, look at the stuff we do there, it's, it's quite neutral, so uh, you get a very balanced approach. And then the other place I'd recommend is Shift Washington, which we mentioned earlier tonight. They have excellent material as well, but it's a little more right-leaning, shall we say, a little more inflammatory, but it's kind of fun to read that stuff. Um, you know, the last few years here, the legislature has basically run out of control. When I left in 2018, not for my own choice, our budget was around $42 billion, that's with a B. Um, and it took us, what, 17, 100 something years to get there. It's gone from 42 billion to 62 billion since I left. Yeah. That's a 33% increase. And we've got massive surpluses. They're spending money like there's no tomorrow. And we're, as Phil mentioned earlier, we're one of the only states in the nation that has not given any money back. And we're not planning on giving it back. We've got a governor who's 800 days into his emergency powers. Yes. Yeah. He's basically ruling by fiat at this point. He doesn't want to give it up. Notice, he's actually raising money. He's gonna do it again. Yep. Oh. He's gonna do it again, that's what we think. <clears throat> so we need a legislature that's gonna be uh, holding him accountable for, how are you been saying? Good brother, uh, Holding him accountable for what he's doing. That's right. You know, we need that check and balance. Uh, this year is our best shot at it. We, we really, I mean, we're 80, 90% sure we're gonna get the house, uh, which is gonna be phenomenal. Senate's a little closer, uh, but still possible. And if you get both of those houses, watch the legislation that he's going to have to veto. Mm -hmm. You can run out charter school, make him veto the kids. You can run out the tax cuts, make him veto it. You know, because all this time they've been running this legislation. They did it to us when I was down there. They would run the 15. They gave us a 15 percent uh, reduction in car taps. Do you remember that bill that they ran? Yeah. And it failed? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. That, was just a, that was just a puff piece. They deliberately wanted it to fail. They, they ran it out at 20 minutes to eight on a, on a sunny day, I forget which day it was now. And then they had pre-built press releases that accused me of trying to kill filibuster the bill. Last time I checked, I was in the minority. How can I filibuster? We have a three minute rule. You can't filibuster in Washington State, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah. I made this point to Jerry Cornfield, I don't know if you ever heard of and uh, he goes, well, yeah, you're right. So I said, go talk to Steve Hobbs, bless his cotton socks, <laughs> and Jimmy Clibber, who's no longer there, and find out why Marco Leas out of the 21st District was trying to take the money out of the school funding and give it back to Sound Transit for the depleted money that's gonna go into that. That's where the story is, and that's Jerry to his credit. He's an old, old school liberal, went and wrote that article and exposed what they did. Because they weren't interested in car tab relief. They just wanted to sh shovel money around and make themselves look good. So we've got a lot of issues. Police is going to be definitely the top one in safe neighborhoods. Yeah. We're going to have uh, a lot of transportation issues, which uh, hopefully if you check my record, I should be good on. Uh, let's get rid of those tolls. Let's get those car tabs down. Let's take the money that we're investing in, <laughs> investing in 3% of the trips in sound transit, which is 65% of our budget right now, and put it back into fixing the potholes. When the Democrat says there's no money, there's plenty of money, they're just spending on choo-choo trains. Yeah. 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 Really, it's, it's an absolute joke how much they spend on this stuff for the percentage of the trips that we get. 
97% of the trips at this state are taken uh, in cars and or uh, W, so you know, car, HOV. The rest of it's on transit. I've heard you don't even have to pay anymore. Yeah, you don't even have to pay. Community transit, if you're familiar with that, the Milwaukee area, the blue line, uh, its budget has gone from 110 billion million, excuse me, to 220 million in the last 10 years, 1.79 riders per bus. Oh my wow. God. That's the average. Huh? I'm already answered. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh. When, it, when I was on the council, that is, yeah. So it's, it's just an incredible waste of money. Community transit, 35 bucks a ride, and we subsidize it. Sound transit is $179 per rider, because they never want to increase, increase the uh, capital in it. The other thing we need to be focusing on, obviously, is the economy. Uh, we need gas tax relief. They're about to jack another 50 cents on our gas tax with carbon yeah. taxes next January. That needs to stop. A Republican House and Senate will make that happen. That'll be one of the first things I think we're going to take presence in January. And then uh, the last thing uh, is our schools, not last, but our schools. We've lost two years of learning because of what the Democrats did. Some of you know, teachers, there are good teachers, but what the bureaucracy is doing is killing our education system and the type of drivel that they're putting into it is insane. So my name is Mark Armsworth. I appreciate your vote and your support. I'm trying to help some of the other candidates around here as well. And if you like North Face, this is it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, kind of. Do you have walking material yet? I do. I have a huge box at the back. Okay. So. Yeah,